All right, it has been 500 days logged in on Warframe after, of course, the new daily tribute update. And this means that I get to now claim my Zenith. So I was on Warframe, I logged on, I was like, wow, we already have the Zenith. That's been 500 days. I was like, that's great. We got to do a video on it. So I claimed that bish. And now today we are going to do a video talking about it. Talk about the stats. We'll talk about the weapon, its special ability. We'll level up to 30, we'll put some form on it, and then we'll test it out and get somewhat of a build for it. Not gonna be professional in any way, but if you like if you like this raw stuff, <laughs> well then you are in on the right video. So yeah, the Zenith, Zenith, w tomato, tomato, I, as I like to say, because Warframe has the best names, very easy to pronounce, definitely does not make any controversy by any means. Uh, in the community of, of how to pronounce things by any means. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at this bad boy. I have not taken a look at the stats or anything on this thing like weapon yet. I've, I've seen one review on it, so I know what the special ability is, the passive on this weapon, which is really cool in my opinion. Some seem to say it's it's a little uh, pointless. I think that is really unique. Anyway, yeah, here it is, the Zenith. So, uh, I haven't seen the stats for it yet. It is the automatic primary. So, if you didn't know, for the login rewards, you first got the Azima. So, the Azima is this secondary gun that shoots out It's the entire magazine, and then the, the magazine shoots in a circle in a room and kills everything in the room, which is pretty cool. The Zenistar, which is the melee version of the weapon, which you can throw out the disc once again, and that disc will deal damage in the area of effect. And then, last but not least, we have the Zenith. I don't know what the alternate firing is. All I know is that you can shoot through walls and you can also see through walls. Which is badass, okay? B very badass. So, taking a look at the Zenith's stats. No, so we it is a mastery rank 5 or higher weapon, meaning you can have to be mastery rank 5 or higher. I just explained that. I don't know why I explained that twice. Good job, Cole. Deploy radar disc to reveal hidden enemies. Okay, so this is... So every single disc has its own special ability. So this one, this is when you deploy the disc in the middle of the magazine right here. It will reveal enemies behind walls and stuff. And you can strike them with precision shots. Punch through all obstacles in the way. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm guessing the way it works is that it is a fully automatic weapon. Kind of like the, so the Soma Prime. But when you launch the disc out, it becomes semi-automatic. But you can get those nice headshots through walls and stuff. Okay, so... This is going to be a status based weapon, which is really cool actually. 30% status chance is really good at base for a fully automatic weapon. Crit chance is low though at 10%. Fire rate is 10. Magazine is 90. That's very large. Um, reload is 1.6 seconds. 19 slash damage. It's, so slash is the main damage type, which is good. So I like slash. Slash and corrosive, two of my favorite combinations. Of course though, when you throw the disc down and you start using the secondary, which is going to be the semi-automatic, which I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, yes, that guarantees it is. Okay, so we have auto and semi. So when you use the semi-automatic, it takes away the status chance and it increases the critical chance. So we have a critical chance of 35%. That's really cool, but this is going to be a pain in the ass though, because we're going to have to like mod for st status and criticals. I guess it won't be that hard. All you need is the crit mods, and then you just throw on the elemental stat mods. Fire rate is 1, magazine still 90, cool stuff. Reload is a little bit shorter at 1.4 seconds, cool. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, so this one uses puncture, so puncture will be better. Okay. It looks overall very cool. I'm, I'm digging the way it looks. We'll have to see it when we equipped it, so let's go, let's go put this bad puppy on. There it is. So... Um, appearance wise, let's see what we can do with, with, uh, wait, does it have metallics? Is that a metallic? Oh, oh, that's a metallic right there. Beautiful. Coloring is pretty hard for me. If you didn't, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at the Polaris now. Cause it always matters. What's on the inside. Not, not the looks. So let's see what we got going on the inside. Okay. A V and a, and a dash. That's pretty good starters to be honest we can put on our serration and an element mod I guess I do want to go with the stat element mods though because I want to get some status chance up there all right that's pretty cool it comes with a Roken catalyst already installed that's awesome well I guess we can put some mods on we can put that on there we can put our split chamber on there and then uh, I don't know I mean this already brings up to almost a 50% status chance which is great and then all we really would need is this and that 87 it's not bad do i really need to get to 100 percent 
probably will. All right, you know what? Let's just try this for now. Oh wow, it brings this to a 30% status chance too. That's, that's pretty cool actually. Let's just give it a go. I want to see how it works in the field and test it out because I have never got my hands on it yet and I, I'm really excited to use it. Hopefully it is not, it's not a complete waste of time. I don't think it will be. All right, so we're doing capture. Uh, looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. So alter, uh, the, the main firing of course is uh, fully automatic. Wow, did I just tear that thing into Rated M for mature, everyone. <laughs> how the f how did I manage to do that? How did I manage to get two out of one? Hey man, that's a bargain. That's a bogo. Buy one, get one. I'm sorry. Oh, I love the gore in this game. It is just it is just fantastic. I think I have it. I had it disabled for the longest time. Was that three? Three for one. How? <laughs> Ooh, that reload is sexy. Look at that. All right, now let's try the. Uh, oh, hold on, let's capture the target first. Let's capture this bitch. He's running. He's making a nice, nice juicy run for it. Get out of here. Let's try now. Let's, let's go over here. Let's uh, throw this down. This radar-looking thing. So now. <gasps> oh. <gasps> it shows headshots. That's so cool. So it reveals and it even has a little stat at the top of the screen the top right there as you can see that And it's done. Oh That's so awesome. Let's try this again. So what is this gonna reveal all of their heads? <gasps> and I can shoot through walls, too. I think Can't I? Pretty sure I could. Can we do it? <gasps> oh That's so cool I, I, I could have swore I heard people complain about this. I hope they weren't because that, that is That is pretty damn nifty in my opinion and how far is the range? I don't think it's that very far yikes that maybe that could be a problem shoot it out there bing bong And then there we go and then bam you're dead bam you're dead <laughs> This should reveal some stuff for us. Okay bam bam That don't move Bam, bam, oh my god, that's awesome. All right, you know what time it is now. Your favorite time, it's where I go and level up some shit. All right, one formal later, we are back with the Zenith. Now, I did a little leveling and I thought, why not, let's go for a forma. I wanna actually get some mods in here. I could have gone for two, I have the time and I have the forma. But, I thought, do I need another one? Because the way I have this built, I kind of like it. It's more for status, and I'll show you guys right here. So, we have, um, the main thing we're going to be doing here is corrosive and crits. That is the base behind the build. So, for base damage mods, we have serration, split chamber. I didn't feel like going with heavy caliber because I want the accuracy for the secondary, uh, firing mechanism. That's just my personal preference, and, uh, you might... You might get pissed at me in the, in the comments and be like, oh, Cole, you're dumb. You should have used Heavy Caliber. I'm sorry. I don't feel like using that. And yeah, for, for Critical Chance, we have Point Strike. And for Critical Damage, we have uh, Vital Sense. So, for Corrosive, we have Malignant Force, Infected Clip, and High Voltage. These are going to make our Corrosive. And then I threw in the very last one, Rhyme Rounds, to add some cold damage and to also increase the status chance all the way up to a 96% status chance, which is pretty good. It's as close as I can go without going to 100% and using the last element mod, which I don't want to. This works well. The cold proc is great. It slows enemies down, increases survivability. Um, it's just another proc to add. And yeah, so I, mean, I, I, I think this is pretty solid. Now we are going to go test this out in the simulation room. Big surprise, right? All right, so to get this out of the way, we're gonna start with a heavy gunner 135, just to show you, or just to test out to see how it is, the main firing mechanism against something with heavier armor and whatnot. So here we go. Let's give it a shot. was pretty good yeah that's pretty good I don't know what I was expecting I wasn't expecting that fast I guess 
Uh, that, was, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> I guess we'll try it now with the alternate, and then we'll move on to some more fun stuff. We'll spawn in a lot of enemies and see how how well we can do with the alternate. So yeah, let's throw that down. Suck my balls, and then here we go. Semi-fire is a little bit slower. Criticals are nice though. I th I think it's gonna be better though. The cold proc is nice too. Look at that. He's slowed down a little bit. Definitely faster with the fully automatic firing mechanism. Of course, we are just tearing through ammo though with the semi. Jesus. And not getting the same exact result from the crits, but the crits are nice though. The status though, status is just so good for those those heavily armored enemies. Should I even build for crit? Is crit even? Crit's definitely an option. I think that crit definitely does help a lot because as you can see, when using the first uh, mechanism, the primary firing mechanism, you can see crits in there and they are obvious. And I think that's why it helps to take it out so much faster. Because it's crits, it's slash, it's status effects like cold, corrosive, and uh, all the combinations together just completely rape that heavy gunner. All right, well, that's great. I'm definitely glad. I'm, I'm happy with the result. Let's try it against some more uh, smaller enemies. We're going to do five Corrupted Lancers, and let's see. Let, let's not do something crazy high level. Let's just do level, like level 80s or something. I want to see how the secondary does with scoping and finding these guys. So we're going to shoot that disc, I guess, over there roughly. Will it reveal them? Will it reveal them? You're joking. You gotta be joking me. Really? It has to be like right on top of them? It's kinda stupid, man. But uh, there we go. I'm not a huge fan of that. But yeah, there it is. You can shoot through walls, everyone. Bam. Bam. Yep. Go, go, go undercover, why don't you? Yes. That cover really, really did you in, didn't it? Not too happy with the alternate fire mechanism. Uh, well, at least, at least I, not with the, the aspect of seeing enemies. It's a little bit buggy. I don't know. Let's we'll see if there's, is there a way we can actually increase the range? And if there is, probably not. If there isn't, then I'm just, I'm just gonna end the video here because I don't know, know what else to say about it. We tested it out. We, we did what we needed to do. We came. We saw. We conquered. I guess I'll just use the full automatic mechanism. Great weapon though. <laughs> My name's MCIK. Tune in next week to watch me kill myself.